so much loot. So much stuff for good old Pitchy to take and hold on to and look at and shine and just my precious. <laughs> Hello my loves and ladies, I'm Pitch Dark and welcome back to Outward. This is the Three Brothers DLC and we are in the Grotto of Chaldini. Chalcini, I don't know what it's called, something like that. Anyway, so we were in here last episode and we found what I thought was going to be like a, a, a sample or something like that that we can bring to Aveline. And uh, so what I did was I went back to Old Sirocco. And because I remember there was a militia hammer there that I left, grabbed that, came back, and it turns out it's a dagger. Sacred uh, scarred dagger, damage thirty, impact forty, attack speed one. This is pretty cool. I'm almost tempted to uh, to switch up a little bit here. It's, that is nice. Very cool. So I got that, in case anybody's interested in knowing. Um, here. It was right there. And you need the mil the militia hammer to get it. Otherwise, you screw it. <laughs> so that, I thought that was pretty cool. So I wanted to show you guys that. Uh, so you know where, where I got it, what happened, all that. It's very cool looking. Matches the outfit. As you know, it was important to me. So... Yeah, we're, we're get, definitely going to hold on to that. We don't know very many dagger skills because, you know, early on I, I was kind of, you know, toying with dagger or or gun. And I really wanted to do the gun. Um, and that's what's great about this game. I can switch up anytime I want to. I can go to a two-handed weapon if I want, wanted to. I can learn all those skills as well. So uh, we may switch to a dagger at some point. I don't know. Uh, if we if our adventures ever lead us back to like Levant and stuff like that, we can we, we can learn new skills. We'll definitely, probably do something like that because I want to I want to check this uh, this sucker out. It looks pretty good. So it's very cool looking. I like the way it looks. So yeah. Anyways, we're gonna head back to New Sirocco now and um, drop off our stuff. Check on the construction of the uh, the wood thingy. Um, I did. Come across one more of these guys. Uh, he's lying right there. And um, it was a cave down down here, down in there, um, that we hadn't been in. There was just um, that metal, the, the Chalcini, Chalcini, whatever it's called, materials that we could gather. Um, I didn't I didn't take it, so I wouldn't be overweighted. And I lured this sucker, this guy out, because <laughs> I wanted to see what was in that room. Um, just stuff we can mine. So, wasn't a lever or a switch or anything like that. So that's cool. So anyways, I'll head back and I'll meet you guys there. Okay guys, so I'm back. We're in New Sur Sirocco and I put things away in our chest and cooked up some meat, rested, uh, repaired the mining pickaxe a little bit. So it's almost there. Uh, so I went to talk to this guy and he has, uh, looks like a new quest line or something. So I exited out of it to see what he, had, what he needs here. Ah, there you are. We've got the essentials for construction set up, but we've hit a serious snag. It's about the Ambrine herbs. Our workers are going into Ambrine withdrawal. Our scouts and hunters can't gather enough for everyone just by foraging. Some of our people have set up an improvised growing operation just over the hill, but the terrain is understandably rattles rather sterile. We need a fertilizer. Something to give our ambering crops enough nutrition to survive until our first real harvest. If not, many of our people are planning to abandon the settlement there uh, and try to seek permanent refuge in Monsoon. Oh, Jesus. Uh, okay, they abandoned the settlement j uh, because they can't get enough of that herb. Why? I don't like the look of this. I don't like the look of this either. Ambrine has been part of our culture in Sirocco since long before the Scourge. It helps regulate body heat and protects the lungs against the ash and soot in the air. 
We've depended on it in order to survive our work for generations. Unfortunately, ceasing to smoke it comes with awful side effects. That's right, you get addicted. The nobles knew, of course. Uh, it's almost none of them smoked it by controlling the supply. They used its addictive nature to control us and keep us in our place. If we don't solve this problem, we stand to lose a considerable amount of manpower. Our construction operation will slow down significantly. So, if so many people left. That fertilizer is now priority one, Dustin. A fertilizer, huh? Sounds like you have an idea of what would work. I entrust this task to you. Wait, thank you, sir. I need you to find a freshly laid Mimitar egg in the hives near the east. Then take it to the sulfuric caverns. A scout said he'd find a bluish pool of sulfur there. A fertilizer Madzi must have died in it, releasing a ton of nutrients. Alright. Um, I am going to snap a shot of this. There we go. Just in case it's not in my log. Quest log. Um, okay. Here's what you need to know. Sink the Memetar egg into it for a few minutes, and the stuff inside the egg should become exceptionally good fertilizer. Just one good enough to get the first ambrine harvest um, in and ensure the farms are off to a good start. Okay, if those people can't handle it here, why not let them leave for a safer region then? Uh, I'm not going to say that. I'll be back with it as soon as I can. Hold tight until then. Okay. We have a quest first. Let's drink because we are parched. Mm, good. All right, so we've got to find an egg. What if we have one? I doubt it. I think it's probably a special egg, right? Mim Mimitar egg or something weird like that. So this is why it's important to hoard things, people. <laughs> you never know what you're going to find. And what it's going to be used for. But I, I think that would have been some sort of quest thing. I'm guessing. Yeah, okay. Alright, let's check the journal here. Dream memory from the depths of the Memetar Haven. Okay. I think he said it was to the east up here. All right, so let's just check the construction here. So does that mean this is done? Oh, this is done. Oh, so we, we completed our obligation anyways for that quest as far as getting things built. Look, look at this. Oh yeah, by the way, too, I when I was, when I ran back to Ode Sirocco, I found an area, like a blacksmith area where you can do blacksmithing, I think it's, it's to do the SAR weapons or something like that, I think. I've never, I never worked on those before. Never did anything with those. So, uh, it's easy to get to. So, something to, uh, maybe we'll do. So, this is cool. Very good. Uh, let's see. Do, do we want to do another building or do we want to wait? Or we could start another construction while we're waiting, right? Or while we're 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 looking for this egg. Let's just see how we're so, doing. So what's on the agenda today? Uh let's see. Wow, we only have twenty funds. And it's fifty per day. We're gonna run out of funds like really fast. So we're producing ten food and stone stones. Oh, we have 20 stones. Oh, we're producing four timber. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, all right, let's add. Do I have uh, silver on us? No. All right, let's sell this stuff first. Well, let's, we'll grab our silver first, then we'll sell this stuff. Grab that. So we're going to have to add more funds. I'm not going to build anything else yet, then. How can I help you? Uh, no. How can I help you? Okay, so we will sell all these gems, stuff, the husks. Let's 
probably it. So, what's on the agenda today? We are spending so much money on this settlement. Yeah, gives us something for now. Okay. So we gotta head east to... Let's see if it's on the map. I don't think it is. So we'll probably have to find it. That should be fun, the way I, where I find things. Right? What does it say? Treve Merim egg from the depths of the Memetar Haven. You need to find a freshly remembered our egg in the hives near the coast. Near the coast. Oh, so it's like, oh, over here. So we have to go west. I wonder if it's near, or maybe it's this. Oh, there it is, right there. Ha <laughs> ha, it's on the map. All right. So smoldering crater. All right, let's head over there. We're going to go westbound, my friends. Oh, this is a nice section we haven't been in yet. Very cool. All right, so we got a structure there. It's like a tower. That could be the cobble of the wind's pillar, maybe. Oh, I think is that the cave right there? See it on the hill. Bet you that's it. Let's see if we can get up here and take a better look. Oh, get signage. Let's read it. Okay. Oh, look at they put a sign up so, we, so people know where New Sirocco is. Very good. At least they're doing something instead of standing around. What it looks like they're doing. <laughs> like, yeah, you go do stuff. We're going to stand here in a semicircle. Yeah, I think, I'm thinking that's it. Plus, we're not gonna just gonna go. We're not gonna be walking right in there and grabbing an egg. I'm sure <laughs> that would be kind of silly. That would be very un un outward like to do that. But look at all these air. Look at all this stuff we can look at, look for, look through. Uh, so much loot. So much stuff for good old Pitchy to take and hold on to, and look at and shine and just my precious. <laughs> Yes, I'm weird. I like I like to find stuff. That's what adventure's all about, right? Finding stuff. Now we got a little sleep area over here, rest area, where we can we can uh, rest unhindered. All right, so that might be the Cobalt Cobalt Tower, right there. That's what they usually look like. They have like the little wingy things on there. I don't know what that other tower is. Maybe that's part of the town. Or it could be, it could be uh, so far off in this distance as Calgary Island. I don't know. But this must be the cave. I see a lot of these circle things around here too. I wonder if that used to be maybe a tower of some sort at some point. How are we going to get up there? I didn't bring any climbing gear. This got to be another way in. Right? This better be it. Seems right. Oh, is there another entrance right down there? I think there is. It looks hivish. Hello, someone let me in, please. Anybody have a climbing rope? Or something? Aha! Oh, look, a cave. Oh, yes. Okay. This is it. This is what, this is what we ran all the way here for. Oh, boy. Alright, well. I don't know what a Mimitar is. I don't think we've come across these uh, these things yet, so... Should be... 
Should be interesting. I'm sure it's going to be a plentiful adventure in death and destruction. And, I mean, look. Things aren't already looking that good here. Get our gun loaded. This is nicely lit. Gotta get some stuff to my. Okay. All right. Um. <laughs> I don't know what's going on down there. Is that two things or is that one thing? I think it's two things. Okay. Well, good news is we can maybe be able to draw them up here. The worst comes to worst, I can run out. So you think they like heat? They probably like fire. Oh, I should have put this away. Damn it! Or I should have sold it. Same with those. Uh, let's see. Well, let's eat something. Alright, put down, um... Spike trap. I think they'll come up this. No, that's a ledge, right? So they'll come up this way. Sorry, we're using palladium on this sucker. Uh, so usually I like to just put down one trap. And then see how, how they are and how they fight. But I'm thinking, since there's two of them. Yeah, we should do that. Actually, not there though. Hold on. I have a weird spot. I'll put it over here. We'll just do a regular one there. Uh, I, I don't have a good feeling about this, I'll be honest with you. What the heck? What are they doing? Like, part of me wondering, can I just get around them, maybe? You know? <laughs> let's, let's try. That's just a good idea for a second. Um, they're not very sneaky. Yeah. Put our light on. We can always pick our traps back up on the way back. guys didn't have a good time, did they? Blood mushroom. We're gonna grab this. I like to grab that whenever I can. Uh, oh, okay. That's good. Stuff to have. Oh, pigeon paste is good to have, too. And frosted delight. Oh, look at that. Heat resistance barrier and high stamina regeneration. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Alright, I'll take the potion. I'm gonna leave weapons and stuff. You can always come back for it. Do that stuff. I'm gonna grab that just in case I forget to come back, but I will come back, loot, transfer stuff whenever possible. It's definitely a lot of stuff we can get. Definitely a lot more looting in this DLC. I like that. I think we find more stuff. Oh. 
Oh, that's one of those snail things, but he looks different. He's gonna come out here. Ooh. <laughs> He's right there. I'm coming to get you. Okay. Why well, you do that? While I run over here. Check out this corner. Palladium. That looks like... Is that like another entrance or something? Alright. I guess we're gonna fight this guy. Let's see what he does. He does the same thing. The green stuff. Oh, and fire. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Oh, nice. Oh, I didn't have my axe ready. Get out of there. Oh, 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 get away when he does that. It's usually bad. Uh-oh. These guys are hard to hit. They can take a beating. My damn stamina. Uh oh. <laughs> I can't move. Oh, stamina. Where did you go? Alright, good. We were doing good till our stamina went down to nothing. <laughs> Which is usually the case of things, right? All right, we're good. We're still regenerating our health. Our stamina will get back to normal soon. Let's take a look around in here. GG bad. So what is this negative effect? I don't think I've seen this one before. Plague! Take 40k damage per second. Uh-oh. Are we like... Oh, we are dying. Uh, think this would help? Yes! Ha-ha! <laughs> It's always good to have a potion for every moment. Okay, we can interact with the sucker. Do we want to? Probably not. Not yet. Uh, yeah. You know what? What we'll do is we'll end this episode, and then we come back. We'll interact with that. See if we open that up. Continue looking through this uh this uh this place, and we'll hopefully find the egg, and we'll you know we'll be total heroes again, and save Soroko. So I do thank you for watching. Please remember to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time.